Now, uniformity of mass or uniformity of weight of capsule doses form. And these requirements are as per the European Pharmacopoeia 6.0 and Indian Pharmacopoeia 2010. So, in order to carry out the uniformity of the mass or weight of capsules, take uh, 20 samples of the capsule randomly from the lot. Now, determine the weight of the intact capsule. So, here determine the weight of the 20 intact capsule. Okay. Now, in the second portion, remove the content from the capsule as much as possible. In case of the hard gelatin capsule, you open the uh, two cells and remove the content as much as possible. In case of the soft isolating capsule, you remove the content and after removing the content, you wash the capsule cell with suitable solvent and allow the solvent to evaporate so that the odor of the solvent is uh, no longer perceptible. Now you determine the weight of the empty capsule cells. Here now the weight of the empty capsule 1, 2 and so on. Here you have determined the weight of the intact capsule and here you are going to determine the weight of the empty capsule. Now the difference between these two will give you the amount of the content. That is the weight of the content. Calculate mass or weight of content so if you differentiate uh, this value from this you can get the content of capsule 1 same way you determine the content of the all the 20 capsules that is the content of the uh, capsule 1 capsule 2 capsule 3 and so on up to 20 capsules So after determining the content, you determine the average weight. So now calculate the average weight. Suppose in our case the average weight is 200 milligram is the average weight. Now Now the criteria for the capsule is if the weight of the content is less than 300 milligram at that time 10 percentage deviation is allowed. If the content of the capsule is greater or equal to 300 milligram at that time, 7.5 percentage deviation is allowed. In our case, the average weight we got is 200 milligram from the earlier exercise. So that our case would be this, less than 300 milligram. So 10 percentage deviation is allowed in our case. So. Uh, this is the our target value of the 200 milligram that is the average weight of the content now here that is the minus 10 percentage that is uh, 
180 milligram this point and this point is a plus 10 percentage so it would be 220 milligram again the double value of the said percentage that is the 10 multiplied by 2 that is a 20 so minus 20 percentage and plus 20 percentage so this value is double the value of the percentage deviation allowed so here it is 160 milligram and over here it is 240 milligram okay now in order to pass the uniformity of mass or uniformity of weight all the tentary content should be within this range or maximum two content or maximum two content are allowed outside the limit of 10 percentage but it should be within the limit of 20 percentage deviation in this case the capsule comply with the requirements suppose here 18 capsules are within the limit of minus 10 to plus 10 and 2 capsules are over in this range then the capsule complies or pass the uniformity of mass or weight suppose in the second case 17 capsules are within this range minus 10 to plus 10 and 3 capsules are within this range then the capsule fails the test so the requirement is that only two capsules can be outside the limit of 10 percentage but they should be within the limit of double the value of the percentage deviation allowed so only two can be over here or over here but not more than two suppose let us consider the another case uh, there is a one capsule over here and 19 capsules are over here and only one capsule content is outside the 20 percentage limit at that time the capsule fails the test because as per the requirement no content should be outside the limit of double the value of the percentage deviation allowed so this was about the uniformity of mass or weight of the capsule doses form so along with the capsules the same test is applicable for the granules that is uh, uncoated single dose granules then powders single dose powders so this test is uh, same for the capsule for the granules single dose uncoated granules and single dose powders Okay.